In just minutes from now, the night sky will come alive during a spectacular fireworks show at the iconic Long Beach waterfront. That's right. KCAL Line's Jake Reiner is live tonight in Long Beach with how things are going out there. Hi, Jake. Hey there, Susie and Juan. We are just under 15 minutes away from the fireworks show you were just talking about. We're at Shoreline Aquatic Park, and I just want to show you kind of the scene of what we're seeing here. Families, friends, everyone is gathered here. They're pumped, ready for the fireworks. They're bundled up. It's a little chilly out here, but this this crowd of people, they had this last year. They said they had 50,000 people. They're expecting even more this year, and it kind of wraps around uh, the shoreline here. And then I want to point out, again, if we go across the water, you see the Queen Mary there. And then right to the right of the Queen Mary, that is where the fireworks will be going off at 9 p.m. We will carry that live. Now, we spoke to a family earlier who is just excited to be out and about post-pandemic. I'm happy because, because the fireworks are coming on tonight. Actually, it's a great experience. Uh, a great atmosphere just to be out here amongst everybody and free. So, so just to prove to you that there's really no bad seat in the house, look at all these people on the bridge waiting for the fireworks show to start at 9 p.m., which we will carry here live on KCAL 9 as we slowly make our way back to me. You can see the Queen Mary in the background. Everyone is pumped for the fireworks show. I should point out that the Long Beach Police Department put out a uh, notice on Twitter earlier saying that they're aware of what was going on in Illinois with that shooting, and they've beefed up patrols as a result. So they are very much aware of what's going on around the country here. But so far, no incidents to report. Reporting live in Long Beach, I'm Jake Reiner, KCAL 9 News.